Hey everybody. So today I want to make a video um, with kind of the catalyst of it was this morning a good friend of mine asked me if I believed in soulmates and if I do, what is a soulmate? So yes, I do believe in soulmates. I believe we have many soulmates. Um, I could probably make about 20 videos for this topic. There's so much that you could cover. But um, just to give like a general idea, um, you kind of got to start off understanding what the fact that we all carry a vibrational frequency, everything does. So that's the basic concept of it. But if you don't understand what vibration is and frequency, everyone says, oh, good vibes, positive vibes only. But do you really understand what vibration is? Do you understand um, how that works emotionally? So um, the best way to kind of think about this or to get a visual is um, Abraham Hicks has this um, emotional scale that she used in one of her books. I think it was asking and is given. But if you go on Google, you can look at, you can just pull up a picture of it. I'll attach one to um, my Instagram video that I post. But basically, it's an emotional scale so you can tell where you're at vibrationally. So on the scale, there's um, positive emotions and negative emotions. So once you get to the middle, there's like contentment. And then once you get above that, I actually wrote a couple of these down. There's optimism and hopefulness. And then above that, positive expectation and belief. Enthusiasm, eagerness, um, freedom, love, joy, appreciation. That's all at the hierarchy of the, the emotional scale. So you have to gauge, take a look at how you feel on a day-to-day -day basis. Like how do you feel emotionally? And what is the most consistent emotion that you carry? And that kind of gives you an idea of where you're at vibrationally. Now, a lot of people are on the bottom tier where they're having a lower vibration because um, they have a lot of feelings like worry and doubt and, and um, pessimism and things like that. And there's a scale. So if you guys pull it up, you should you should really check it out. But anyways, we want to talk about manifesting a soulmate. So we have to be a vibrational match to that soulmate. So right now, the reason why a lot of relationships aren't working in our culture is because we're attracting people who are on a low vibration because we are on a low vibration. We're worrying about this or that or we're most consistently on a low vibration therefore relationships aren't going to work because you're in a low vibrational relationship with the person you're attracting you see what i'm saying so it, yes we could have multiple soulmates anybody who's who can raise their vib vibration on a consistent basis and attract somebody who is on that same vibration because that's what's going to happen you're going to manifest what you're putting out vibrationally that is when you can meet soulmates or soulmates. So anybody who, you know, you are resonating with and they're resonating with you and feeling that mutual feeling, that is a soulmate. It could be a friend. Like my best friend Steph is my soulmate, like in my friendship, in a friendship way. And, and that's why I think the idea of only having one soulmate, um... If you're a twin flame, yes, but that's like rare, okay? And I don't want to get into that topic. But soulmates, yes. You can have multiple soulmates. Not just one. It's anyone you resonate with while you're on a high vibration and they're on a high vibration. Therefore, positive things come from that relationship. So yes, you can have many different soulmates. And um, if you're not finding that now, it's just because you need to work on yourself. And if you do not love yourself first, you're not going to be able to love somebody else. However much you love yourself is however much somebody else is going to love you. You see what I'm saying? Um, also, if you're in a relationship and you got into it when you were on a lower vibration, which is most people, it is not impossible if things are going, you know, rough or whatever to raise that relationship 
to another level if both individuals are willing to work on themselves and get to know themselves and love themselves. It's less about the work together and it's more about the work with yourself. You are what is manifesting everything in your life. You see what I'm saying? So what happens a lot of times is one person starts to grow and they grow apart because one's growing and vibrating at this frequency now and the other one's at this frequency and it just doesn't work out. It's not working anymore because you are, you're not a match. So it's like you're trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. It's not going to work. So that's why, uh, you know, the divorce rate's 50% and then the other 50% are still married or a lot of them are unhappy because we just, as a culture, we don't understand this concept and it, vibrational frequency, quantum physics, that is what you want to know. You want to figure out what this whole, uh, our world is about and what life is about. It's about that. So we really have to start wrapping our heads around what these concepts are. Yes, they can be very, um confusing because it there's a lot of science behind it and, and it's a lot to wrap your head around but if you simplify it you can really start to understand it so if you really want to start understanding these concepts more the best source to go to is abraham hicks on youtube there's literally thousands of videos my best friend steph introduced me um to those videos like um two years ago and that's when my i started my spiritual awakening and everything and um she she knows how to simplify it and apply the concepts of um vibrational frequency and law of attraction in your life and it's really cool it's just a bunch of snippets of her seminars um so many on youtube just put in abraham hicks and then relationships or uh, finances or whatever you want to learn more about or you can just type in Abraham Hicks and a million things will come up she has a lot of really cool rampages on there um, definitely definitely like if you're just starting to be curious and want to know more about this stuff that is the first place I send everybody because you have to start from a ground base and then build yourself up you can't just like try to take on the more complex stuff before you know the basics. So, yeah. So that's that's kind of what I wanted to touch on when it comes to soulmates. There's a million things we could talk about. But to me, it's important to touch on the basics first. So if you guys go to Google, Google the emotional scale Abraham Hicks has. And then um, definitely check her out on YouTube. You can also go to my YouTube channel, Kelsey Franks, or my website, KelseyFranks.com, or my Instagram. Um, I only post like little snippets of my videos on Instagram because obviously you can't post the whole thing. Some of them I put on um, Instagram TV. But yeah, the link is in my um, in my bio on there. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll put all the um, I'll put the in the uh, description box down below I'll put um, all the information about Abraham Hicks too so you can check her out but alright guys until next time